I want to tell you in your lives and in my life, one of the favors of Allah is that he places in our lives hardship and difficulty. You might be wondering, how is that a favor of Allah? Well, he tells us through the blessed lips of Muhammad, peace be upon him, Inna allaha idha ahabba abdan ibtala. When Allah loves a slave of his, he tests him with hardship, with some form of tests. Evidence of it goes all the way back to Adam. May peace be on him. You name for me, no matter what religion you belong to, name for me those whom you believe were chosen by Allah. As Muslims, we would start off with the name Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May peace be upon him. Am I right? Well, look at his life and see, did he have any challenges in his life? For me, he was the chosen by Allah to be the best of creation, the most noble of all prophets. The Christians might say, Jesus, may peace be upon him. The Jews might say, Moses, may peace be upon him. Others might mention other names, may peace be upon the messengers, all of them. Take a look at their lives one by one. You will notice one thing in common. They went through challenge upon challenge because they were the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's impossible to have come onto this earth and not have hardship. So what does Allah do for you and I? He shows us how to navigate through these challenges. When you listen, when you obey, when you try your best to understand, even though the plan of the Almighty is known by Him alone, but we surrender to His decree. This morning, I got a call from someone telling me they wanted to marry a specific person and they've been trying very hard for the last two years, but the the parents on one side are hell-bent on denying it. I said, my beloved sister, you need to set yourself a deadline and move on. There are another two billion men looking at you and saying, I wish I had this sister. She says, what do you mean? I love this guy the most in the world. I'm ready to sacrifice my life for him. I said, don't say that. Don't say that. Because you might just have an Ameen and that Dua and you might end up never being married. Yet there were people better than him that you just were blinded, couldn't see. Hi, she didn't like the advice. But if you don't want to move on, it's you who pay the price. If you don't want to move on, it's not the end of the world. There's not just one person. I've always said, when you get married, yes, there's one person. Khalas, I close my eyes, I'm there, and I will sacrifice and work towards and do whatever. Unless something really toxic happens, I'm going to make sure this thing works. But before that, you're not yet married. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.